G'day Roosters, let's have a good look at this CAD block that's available for a free download at blocks.draftsperson.net. It's in a DWG file format, it's a 2D CAD block. Now a lot of the blocks that you find on blocks.draftsperson.net are in the 2D variety. That's its uh, target uh, audience you could say, it's um, producing uh, or publishing 2D CAD blocks for general drafting and most of them are quite simple but they're quite handy to have like this one the CAD block. Now as you can see this one's extremely popular because it was uh, published on the 11th of March this year it's now November the 6th in 2020 of the same year and it's downloaded over 10,000 times so why is this CAD block of these bolts so popular? Now where you would use these CAD blocks is something like this in detailing a still framing connection. Now when you get below scale 1 to 10, you may want to not just show it diagrammatically, but show it as an actual bolt, because you want to check that you've got clearance and things work well. And sometimes too at details at 1 to 5 or something like that, you might want to show a higher level of detailing. Now the little blurb on it says that it's uh, the metric bolts, the CAD blocks, inside and end elevation views and they include the nuts and washers. It also says that M20 is the standard bolt size for structural steel framework. So that's handy to know, M20 is the standard one. So the sizes are M6 through to M36, M6 through to M36, sorry. And if you click on this tab here, we've got attached files. Now what that means is that you can download just one. So I want the M21, I'm going to download the M21. You can see I've downloaded this before and tested it. If I click on this one, it downloads the entire set as a zip file. So if I go to my downloads directory, well I've got two files there because I've downloaded it twice now, but if I open one of them, the zip file you can see it's got all the bolts in there. Or I've got the one I've just downloaded. So let's go over to CAD, I already have it open, the M20 um, block, and let's have a good look at what's inside this CAD block. So first of all, it's all by layer and by block, we can see that. Now we can see here that there's some blocks. So there's a label at the top, but there's some blocks. The head, the side view, it's M20, 8.8. 8.8 is the grade, it's a high strength grade. Uh, head and it's, um, it's in a block. So let's open that block and just see if the line works good in there. Yes, it is zero and by block, by block. that's excellent. So what that means is if you changed that to red, it would change to red. But if I created another layer, say, called red, and I had it as, well, let's just do it as blue, actually. That's just red and blue, <laughs> confuse people. What happens here when I change this layer and make that by layer? See what happens there? So by block is the best on layer zero because you've got two options individually or as a layer, as a group. Now you can see there's a block down the other end, M20, 8.8, washer, nut, and head, and two lines in between. So that, that means that you can stretch it. So just say, for example, you had, um, let's just imagine that we have two 10 mil plates, 10 millimeter plates there. You could quickly stretch that there, and you've got that bolt, if you delete those lines, that bolt, holding those two plates together. So you can see how you could easily quickly use that. Now you've got the pieces loose as well. So you have the side view of the head, that's a block, the side view of the washer, that's a block. So that, that block there's the washer and the nut together and the bit of the minimum thread. So you might need to explode that if you needed a double bolt, a double nut there. Uh, side view of the nut, which is great, and the top view of the uh, head, uh, and once again, it's all 8.8 .8 sizing here, not the 4.6, but the 8.8 to the bigger one. So that's what's inside this CAD block that you can download from blocks.draftsperson.net.